What's going on, people? Zap here, and this is Apex Legends. And I'm playing it on the PS4, but it's available on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And it is made by Respawn Entertainment, the guys who uh, made Titanfall. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, my God, another Battle Royale game. When will it end? But rest assured, believe me when I tell you this, this is not like your average Battle Royale game. There are a lot of different things in it that set it apart from the rest of the pack. Believe me when I tell you that this game is definitely worth your time and your and, and your money spent if you decide to put any money into it. Um, but it is a phenomenal game. I love the combat. I love the character designs. I love the abilities in the game. Um, and I love the pacing of it. Oh my god. This game is phenomenal. And I'm going to get into the little things about the game that uh, set it apart from other battle royale games and hopefully convince you guys to give this game a shot all right uh first and foremost the game runs very smooth the combat is very fast paced uh you know you got a nice mixture of great gunplay and character abilities to match so um a lot of these encounters aren't going to feel the same you know uh i, I feel like in a lot of battle royale games when you have one encounter you've kind of experienced what the game has to offer right then and there but with this game uh it doesn't feel like that i feel like there's so many different ways to play it because of the different character abilities involved and the weapons involved you know they all have their own purposes and this is awkward because this guy is actually not on my team i don't know why he was just running up behind me like that and now he is dunzo he is a dead man but um yeah so there are a bunch of different character abilities. Uh, you got your medic. You have your, you know, you have your trappers. You have your my my guy just puts out mirages. I don't even know what you would classify him as. Um, you got your assault characters. Uh, you know, you got your scouts. You got all these different characters to choose from with their own special ability abilities. So it's almost like you can you can say it's like a battle royale meets. Uh, Mm, let's say Overwatch in a sense, you know, because all the characters have their own distinct personalities that also make them uh, m more enjoyable to play. You, know, you, you might not really like a character's abilities, but you might like the character per se and their personality traits. Like for instance, my character that I'm playing in this game, Mirage, you know, I'm not really too keen on having that ability. I would much rather play the medic. But his personality is just so freaking hilarious to me. And he has like so many funny one-liners. And his design looks really cool to me. So I pick him a lot of time now. You know, after I unlocked him and stuff like that, I went ahead and just, you know, been playing him ever since. And I really enjoy him a lot. So, you know, there's different, there's all sorts of different ways that you can go about playing the game. And, uh, like I said, no encounter, no two encounters feel the same to me. So... <clears throat> Another thing that sets this game apart, outside of it being class-based, is the fact that you can actually revive dead teammates. Now, what you do is, when your teammate's dead, there's like a certain time period you have to go over to their loot and retrieve their player banner. It's like a little card that you take. And you can take it to one of the respawn beacons and respawn your dead teammates. Now, in doing so, your teammate will respawn out of a, out of a dropship but they won't have any of their gear on them when they died. So they have to go back to their loot, recover their loot, and, uh, you know, start from there. Or find random loot, depending on how far away they died from the spawn beacon, okay? Because they'll spawn at the spawn beacon. So if I spawn, if I took your spawn beacon, uh, your, your, your card from someplace that's really far from the spawn beacon, you're probably not going to want to run all the way back across the map to go to your loot and and start from there you know you'll probably have to kill somebody and or have your teammates drop you something you know go from there but i like the respawn mechanic i feel like it's done very well and it's not broken it's not undoable you know i think that was always a big deal with a lot of people it was like eh, respawns would be cool but how would you go about doing it well the good folks at respawn entertainment made it happen with this game and i like the way it's done i think it's executed pretty pretty fairly and pretty balanced 
Um, the weapon combat, I feel, is also very solid. Um, so guns have their uses in certain situations. Obviously, close quarters, you're going to want to use a shotgun. Long range, you're going to use an assault rifle and things like that. I haven't seen any weapon that equates to like a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher in the game. Uh, who knows? They might implement that sometime later on. But uh, right now, there are no really big explosive guns. I mean, you have grenades and you have thermites, which are like the flame grenades. You'll probably see me use those a little bit later in the video. But um, yeah, right now, no heavy explosive weapons. You know, There are some tiers to the weapons. Like uh, there's legendary weapons, like the Mastiff shotgun and things like that. And there's a sniper rifle that's also legendary. There's also a, a SMG that's legendary. I can't remember the names of them right off the top of my head. But uh, other than that, there are no real tiers to the weaponry in this game. Um, so you can just grab any any old you know AR or shotgun and use them to your heart's content. right? Now the key thing you want to do though is make sure you grab like the right scope for your weapons. Because uh, there's weapon attachments. You grab, a, grab a good scope. Grab yourself a... Uh, 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 extended magazine so that you can you can stay in the gunfight a little bit longer before having to reload. Grab the right stock or uh, you know grab the right barrel, you know things like that to help with kickback and recoil and stuff like that. So yeah, man, you want to try to put um, your weapon loadouts together as best as you possibly can, which is why it's very very important that you spend as much time looting as possible. That way. You get all of the essentials. You get everything you need before every engagement. Because you don't want to go into a fight uh, without the right without the right resources. You know what I mean? Uh, every every little thing you do in this game is important. And this guy had no idea he was there, man. Uh, so I'm gonna use my ability, my ultimate. My ultimate allows me to spawn a ring of decoys while I go invisible and I can get away. You know. So that's pretty good. Now with this engagement, I'm trying to figure out what the best approach is. That guy's behind the rock. We're kind of like in the middle of this. It's not a bridge, but we're in this little area here. So I'm going to check out my decoy, hopefully distract them for a little bit. And I'm eventually going to try to make this push, right? Put a little bit more shots on this guy. Now I know that his shields are gone. And I'm going to make this push pretty aggressively. My teammates are distracting the guys to my right. So I push this guy. Hit him with the Eva 8. Now he's knocked. My teammates pushed up a little bit, but I'm going to heal up real fast. Unfortunately, nobody on my team picked the medic. So I have to use all of my medical supplies myself. And here comes a grenade. I see that they're coming from behind this rock here. So I'm going to go ahead and push. Bam, 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 bam. 777. Seven, seven take that whole squad is dead run over to a big dog over here and there we go We're getting some plays in boys um but yeah man um knowing which weapon attachments to put on your gun is i feel like it's just as important as you know map positioning and things like that you know it's it's very very crucial that you're well equipped with the proper outfit before carrying on throughout the game you know so <clears throat> another thing that people tend to overlook in this game is uh you know the the actual loot you're picking up so you can pick up a gun but that doesn't mean you're going to automatically pick up the ammo for that gun right out of someone's loot so you have to make sure you scroll through their loot box and take the ammo for the gun that you need There's shotgun ammo there's light ammo which goes for like the assault rifles and things like that some of the pistols uh there's energy ammo that's usually used for like uh you know lmgs and stuff like that or you know and then there's heavy weapons or heavy weapons ammo uh for like sniper rifles some some sniper rifles and some of the burst burst weapons uh, the magnum as well you know you'll see them throughout the game uh, and it's really identifiable on your bottom right hand. So you see I have the uh, orange ammo, 
so that's the light ammo. It goes for my gun. It'll tell you right then and there what ammo you need. When I switch to my shotgun, it'll be a red shotgun shell. So it's like, hey, I need shotgun ammo. Does anybody have that? Etc. Etc. So monitoring which ammo you need is very, very easy. It's very intuitive. And there you go. Um, you'll see like different little supply drops like this one right here. There's a supply drop. No one went for it. So I'm going for it right now. And it has a purple helmet. Purple is level three. Uh, the highest level <clears throat> is level four, which is going to be gold. Um, level three is purple. Level two is blue. And level one is white. So keep that in mind. Uh, there are tiers to the armor and to the helmets. I tried to drop this for this guy on my team to pick it up, but... You know, he never he never came and I'm marking it. You see me? I'm marking it. My teammate will verbally say, hey, there's shields right here. Come get them. But my teammate was new, so he had no idea what to do. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to keep it myself then, you know. But we're just trying to make this rotation into the circle. We want to get in there. Um, But yeah, man, this game is phenomenal. Like I said, it's free to play. You have no reason not to give it a shot. Uh, available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC platforms. Uh, check it out, man. Uh, only <clears throat> There are only two characters that you have to unlock. You can unlock them by playing the game, or you can just go ahead and pay money for them. I think it's like $10 for the last two characters. Uh, I went ahead and played them, or I downloaded them myself. I paid for them. But, again, you can... You can uh, you can choose not to pay for them yourself if you if you don't want to. There's no there's no big deal or anything like that. So yeah, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Let me know what you guys think of Apex Legends if you've played it already. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. It's the it's the most fun shooter I've played since uh, Doom came out in 2016. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, enjoy the rest of this video. I'm a freaking beast, by the way. I'm just going to say that. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Leave likes, comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Squad. Nice. Hi, Banner. Someone's getting his squad back. Great job. You're the kill leader. I just gotta patch myself up. Hang on. I not pick it up? Respawn beacon she here. Quit. Oh my god, what an idiot, dude. Only two bad guy squads left. Making contact here. Sending out my decoy. Hostile spotted.
Say goodbye to that squad. Good job. One more squad left. Delivering care package. Care package, coming in. How about this way? Beginning ring counter. Enemies. Give him my shield to recharge. Fuck out of here, boy. You get some of that, baby. Apex champions. Oh my god, bro. 12, 12 kills? kills? Yeah. I'm a fucking monster, dog. I am a fucking monster. <laughs>